Praetor Eleanor, you should be ashamed of yourself, cowering to demons. Your collusion could spell disaster to the Abbey if left unchecked. The only possible atonement is your death. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sucks to be Eleanor right now. Oh, these guys only have like a thousand HP. They're level five, are you kidding me? Dude, that's pathetic. Here we go. What are you weak to? Nothing, that's fine. I'll kill you anyways. That did a lot of damage, surprisingly. These things not taking any damage? No, they're taking damage. They just take like basically zero. What the heck is up with that? Consume them, it's the only way. I need more damage. Discord. They take so little damage, holy cow. It's gotta be because that power link. If the long sword person wasn't there, it'd probably be a lot easier. I really need another soul. Attack me, please. There we go. Awesome. Oh. No, we've seen this before. I was about to say, have I seen this or not? I'm like, yeah, I totally have. It's the move that looks like Galgamon's spiral blow. Come here, stop running, you stupid freaking nature. It's dead now, thankfully. Is this... This is all that's left now. You resist Earth, so do not use Earth like I did just a half a second ago. Duly noted. We'll go back to water. Probably my favorite of the moves right now. Horrible time for uh, consumption, I'll admit, but it's too late now. Ow. Okay, so it's not Aizen who does that attack, by the way. I'm fairly certain it's Lofty set, but I could be wrong. Die already. There we go. You've betrayed the people and sullied Artorius' ideals. No, that's not... <laughs> Velvet, she's testing me. I know I have to fight. My mission calls for it. But any more of this will kill them. Time for you to die and be purged! Eleanor! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't kill them. I'm not done yet. There. Now we're even, Eleanor. You've got new swords. Sinister. I like it. I take it you're ready. Yeah. All that's left is to kill Shigure. With me as a witness. I... I... Keep on fighting like that, and you'll be killed. And if you get killed, Lafayette will lose his vessel. I know that. Velvet, wait. You're... you're not going to kill them? I'm just not that hungry right now. I've got new orders for you. Fight the exorcists, but make sure they don't die. Understood. How's Kuragani gonna witness anything without a head? Riddle me that. I guess that was as far as Eleanor could go. I think so. Push her any further and she's bound to break. <laughs> Ever the virtuous exorcist. That very virtue is what lets her be Lafayette's vessel. Besides, I can't help but admire her commitment. She's enduring total disgrace to accomplish her mission. How uncommonly pleasant of you. Pleasant folks don't use people the way we do. Yeah, you've got that right. All right, we got the Kuragane daggers. That's pretty cool. A reading list. Hey, Bienfil. I was wondering if I could talk to you about something that's on my mind. I figured it was just about the time that you and I had the talk, actually. <laughs> I've seen it all, heard it all, and even tasted it all in my time as a Moloch. Ask me anything you want. Thanks. I was hoping you could let me borrow those books you were reading earlier, if that's okay. You mean how to talk a human female into becoming your vessel? And how to get the cuties? Hey, keep it down. Keep it down. But you and Madame Eleanor have already formed a pact. Why do you still need either of those books? 
Well, it's like when we're alone together, things get so awkward. It's hard to talk with her, you know? <laughs> that happens a lot with Malakim and Vessels who are still new to the whole thing. I've been there. In that case, I've got an even better book for you. Whoa, you read a lot of books. I'm just an avid learner is all. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. Hot Spring Topics, bearing your body and your soul. <laughs> Being upfront and honest is always the best policy. I... I don't think we'll be bathing in any hot springs together. Do you have anything else? All right, then how about after bath party games, dropping your defenses and your <laughs> This is too Why good. Do you keep trying to get us naked. I think that would just make things even more awkward. Picky, picky. Tell you what, you can just look at my collection and pick whatever sounds good. Love hacking. Living long and loving hard. Diary of a diary thief. Hands speak louder than words. All classics. I remember reading them when Miss Mogilu and I were struggling to get along. Oh, to be young again. You ever think maybe things would have been easier if you never read these books? Reading the mood. Knowing what to say and how to say it. That one's a winner. A must read for sure. Are you two reading something together? We are. We are. Lobby Set's been worried about that awkward distance between you two, and he came to me for some advice. I've heard his side of the story, so let's you and I grab some tea and talk about what to do about it. Come on! Let's go, let's go! Oh, okay. Knowing what to say and how to say it. I don't think this will help either. Any complaints I have ever had about Bienfu or ever will have about Bienfu in the future? I can't even say his name right. Any complaints about him ever have now been put aside. Like, that that was glorious. That's the best skit in the game so far. That was so good. Uh, sucks to be that guy. I don't need your pity, traitor. Really wish I could just stab you in the chest right now, but I can't, unfortunately. Do I want to go back and get that chest... What are the odds that that chest has something really awesome in it? Probably pretty high. Look at it this way, Chaos. If you don't go back and get it now, it'll be even more of a hassle to go back and get it later. So, better to do it now and then get the heck out of here. Finally. <laughs> that was, that was, that was hilarious, man. That's That skit was great. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna watch that back. When, when this video gets uploaded, I'm gonna watch that back. That was- that was too good, man. Oh. Classic Tales of right there. I- I don't remember enjoying a skit that much since... Jude's Sexy Side from- I think it was in Tales of Zillia 2. Was it in 2 or 1? I think it was in 2. No, I remember- that one was in Tales of Zillia 2 because it was Rowan when Jude had his new haircut. <laughs> and that- that one was great. And then- I remember the skit from the first Tales of Zillia, which was probably my favorite skit in that game, where it was when you first have Jude meet back up with Mila and them, because Jude gets separated from everyone, and then he meets up with Muse, and then they, him and Muse reunite with the rest of the team, and he runs into Mila, and then Muse starts talking about how they bond, how to mana link and all that, and they pretty much allude to it basically being the spirit equivalent to sex, and Mila is just absolutely dumbfounded that Jude would go through with it, and Jude has no idea why. That, that was wonderful as well. Worn spear, an old spear. Well, hopefully it has like a really good skill to master on it, and that makes it worth it. Let me actually look at that. Why would a sword maker have a spear on hand? Slowing capability plus 1.12%. I mean, that's not horrible. The spear is, like, really bad. Like, really, really bad. But that's a pretty good master skill to have. The spear looks really cool, actually. I think I like the mana lance better, though. Has anyone mastered anything? Doesn't look like it. We have the Kuragani daggers now, which he's already almost mastered. For some reason. Gives him a lot more attack. Oh, no, wait. Are the Kuragani daggers the same as the Calcite daggers, maybe? Yeah, they are. It's the mastering the same thing. We'll just switch to Kuragani, then. Alright, that's fun. 
still undecided on if coming back for that spear was worth it or not, but what's done is done. We've got about 10 minutes left. So let's see if we can get out of here. There's probably like another small area we have to run through to be able to get to the port city or whatever it is that Shiguri is waiting at. I don't think we're going to walk out of the cave and be right there, so... We can probably try and get through most, if not all, of that area, reach a save point, and then wrap up for today. Sounds like a good plan to me. How long does our expedition have? Just over 12 minutes. I'd have to go about three minutes over my normal recording time, but honestly, I'd be okay with that. Because that just gets another expedition out of the way. The more expeditions we accomplish, the better. That way we can send out another one just before I wrap up for today, and then it will... Then it'll be done as soon as I start the next session. It wouldn't be a problem if I had thought to immediately take care of the expedition at the start of this session instead of going and doing that dangerous encounter first, because that was just dumb of me. Expedition didn't cross my mind until afterwards, so that was my bad, but oh well. Usually we can get three in every session, one at the start of the session, one in the middle of the session, and then turn one on at the end of the session so that it's ready for the next session. Which is a pretty good system. Let's just get three completed trips per session. Is that three? One at the start, one in the middle, one at the end? Yeah. And then you start another one at the end so that the one at the start of the next one is ready. I think I'm mathing correctly there. Should be at least. Can finally go down this pathway that they've blocked us off from this whole time. We are still in this stupid cave. When does it end? I don't know what that golden symbol on the map is. What is that? I really want to be able to get past these chasms, but I still don't have whatever ability I need for it. Also, there are no chests here, apparently. That's rather unfortunate. But whatever. Hello, herbs. Grab some saffron, at least. Should probably use the herbs sometime soon. We've gone a good while without using any. I don't think I've used them at all yet in this game, so... Might use some of those soon. We'll see. It depends. Still no chests, huh? Got more of these fire things to deal with. Joy. I'm walking around as velvet again. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna keep going as velvet. Left sweat bags. Okay. That was a hundred capsules. Holy cow. We're just walking around as velvet from now on. The game does not want me to walk around as anyone else, so... If that's what the game wants, then I guess that's what I gotta do. Is that the only one, or is there another one around here I need? Oh no, that opened it. We're good. Awesome. Hey, Rokuro. Why did he call your storm howl a reject? Well, you see, when blacksmiths make swords, they don't just make one at a time. They make a whole bunch. The best one of them all is the one that gets presented to the swords commissioner, while the rest are tossed aside. Huh. I didn't realize the standards were so high. The head of my clan gets the real Storm Howl, and his siblings get the remainders. So one is real, and the others are imitations? I guess so. Shigure has the real one, and... Yeah, guess that makes mine an imitation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply... Don't apologize. You got me to finally realize something. It might just be why I'm so hung up on beating him. Oh. And to Velvet? Which Lopi said is real? And which is the imitation? Oh. What are you saying? She means my name. It's the same as Velvet's brothers. Huh? The one who went and got sacrificed by Artorius. Surely you are mistaken. Our shepherd would never do such a thing. But what else could make Velvet hate Artorius so much? I... I don't... So you have a truth, and Velvet has a truth. Now which is the real one, and which is the imitation? Uh, uh. uh Magilu gets on my nerves way too easily. Let's continue onward. Get away from me, you freaks. I don't want anything to do with you. Ah, yes, an herb. I knew there'd be something down this corridor. I actually didn't, but I just took a chance, and I was right, so I'm going to pretend like I knew it the whole time. You guys didn't hear that. All right, well, hopefully we are almost out of this horrible cave. 
You've been in here for like two sessions now. It never seems to end. Hopefully there's also a save point at the end of it. If there is actually an ending to the cave, I'm starting to think that it's like the stairs in Inception and they just go on and on. Inception is a good movie. I should watch that movie again. I've only watched it once and that was a long while ago. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go, roundhouse kick. Man, I'm good. Got the skills to pay the bills, as some may say. Where the heck does this go? It's gonna curve us back around, all right. Probably when we curve back around, it's gonna be where the, the little torch thing we have to light is at, if I had to guess. Oh, hey, look at that. Whoever could have imagined that that would be right there. I really want to be able to jump over these gaps. What the? How did I not pick those up when I first walked through? Oh, you know what? The game puts you a few feet away from the exit you were just at. Probably so that if you're spamming the X button, it doesn't make you go back and forth infinitely. I would imagine. I don't know why else it would be like that. Or to make you, to get you into a habit of turning around to make sure you grab items, I suppose. That could be another thing. I should probably start doing that. Will I? Probably not. I'll more than likely forget within the next, like, four minutes. But who knows? Maybe I'll remember. Don't count on it. You and Shigure both use the Rangetsu style. But to me, it looked like you both fight completely differently. Why is that? Our school encompasses two distinct forms. To the outside world, we're known for fighting with a single great sword. But we also study dual short swords should need arise. So, Shigure uses the great sword, and you use the short. In most schools, wouldn't the secondary technique be used primarily in support of the first? That's true for us as well. We learn the dual short swords to provide sparring partners for those studying the great sword. Then why would you handicap yourself against Lord Shigure? He's no mere swordsman. As I'm painfully aware. Shigure is a true master. We trained together since we were small children. I was his sparring partner for ten years. <sighs> his skill with the great sword is godlike. So, in order to beat him, I took up the short blades. To our school, it might be secondary, but it's what I know best. You're badly disadvantaged in reach. If I eliminate my fear, I have a chance. If I can control the terror of being split in half and I can step inside his guard, He'll have two times the trouble. Eliminating fear, huh? A style for someone who's lost his humanity. Right? It's like you two brothers are the very swords you carry. Huh? Storm Howl, a godlike sword known to all as the strongest there ever was. Storm Quell, burdened by the ceaseless struggle to best the other. One, an exorcist who walks in the light. One, a demon moving through the shadows. The only thing these two polar opposites want is to cut down the other. Precisely! Both are renowned blades, but I don't see what exorcists and demons have to do with it. I don't see why Magilu has to turn everything into a story. It gets old really fast. I don't know if that's just me, but it's part of the reason I don't like her very much. She throws on the dramatic storytelling too much for my tastes. But hey, to eat your own. I guess. Where is the end of this cave? Oh, thank goodness. I think I found the end. Please let there be a save point over here as well so I can, like, save and wrap up this session. Because that would be ideal. I imagine there's a save point either right next to this door or right there's right next to the door. I was going to say, or right outside of it, but right next to it is fine. So we're not getting out of the cave in this session. We'll be getting out of it next session. Oh, this still has three and a half minutes. I'm already at an hour. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna suffer for my mistakes earlier today and wrap up here. When we come back next time, that will be done and ready to do whatever. And then hopefully next time I remember to do the expedition immediately. That way we'll actually be able to get three in in one session instead of two like we did in this session. But whatever. It's fine. It happens from time to time. We still got plenty of game to play. We'll have plenty more expeditions to go through. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We come back next time. We're going to go try and kill Shigure. I feel like since we've just met Shigure, we're not going to be able to kill him so quickly, so I don't know what's going to happen, but it'll be interesting, if nothing else. I'll see you all then. Until then, farewell. <laughs>